Mm -hmm. Almost everybody. So thank you for being our users. I know some of you have probably already read the news, the launch of Dolphin Garage today. Um, I'm not going to go into the details because I'm going to have David, uh, who's our technical architect, to tell you more about Dolphin Garage later on. Uh, but today, the reason for this particular event is that, you know, for the last two years, I think we started early to, uh, 2010, time really flies. Um, as a mobile developers, like we really learned the hard way, right? Um, how many of you actually, actually, how many of you are in the process of raising money? Funded. Okay, I have to learn, that's why you're here. So when we first started, we were like, we have no money and we have no users. And the reason for this particular event that we, we, we felt the same way when we first started and we really have no clue how to do all these. And for the last two years, we learned a lot through from my friends and advisors, and we really believe that there's a lot of things that we can do, uh, the team of Dolphin Browser, to really help you, to really share, like mind share, with all these like, great people that we learn from. So today, um, with the launch of the first Dolphin Garage event, uh, which by the way, we're going to have another one, uh, July 19th, um, uh, one of our investors from Sequoia, Tim Lee, is going to speak on building a mobile business, so that's for later. But today, um, we're going to talk about the first half of the event, um, is about mobile funding trends. Um, David, Dave, and Sachin is going to tell us a little bit of like their insight um, in terms of mobile funding and the trends and all that. And the second half is uh, David is going to tell us a little bit about Dolphin Garage. And the reason for Dolphin Garage is all about helping you guys um, to, for user acquisition, because that's definitely really, really hard to do. Um, and with that, we're going to end with three really, really awesome speakers and our great partners um, from Evernote, PhoneGap, and Wikipedia. So I'm going to give you guys, I swear it's going to literally take three minutes, uh, just in case you guys don't know about Dolphin Browser, a quick story about us. So we actually started end of 2009, uh, early 2010. And the reason for starting Dolphin is really at the time our founders couldn't find any better Android browsers. And even like today, if you buy a brand new Android phone, you kind of play with the default browser. It's really, really minimal. There is no tab browsing. Um, we really thought that you know there got to be something out there. Um, so our founders really wanted to do this because they couldn't find any other things better. So it. Pretty much when we first started is because of that reason, and it took us about six months to get to the first million user. And after that, um, it's fairly straightforward for us, about 30% increase of users, and now today we have about 16 million, uh, mostly on the Android. And, and we're actually the first browser that started with Gesture. How many of you have played with the Gesture function before? Cool, awesome. Um, you can draw anything that you want, a G to go to Google, or your G could be Georgian or something, anything you want. Um, we also, we're very, very proud, so it's still, I think, the only one that uh, do voice-enabled browsing. And the part that I, I felt the most coolest thing is not just pure, like you say, like Siri, but more importantly, you can actually say, let's say, um, Facebook David Lee. It will actually go into Facebook and show you all the David Lee that you know, but of course, I only know one. Um, so there's a, and in addition to that, um, you can say something like uh, eBay eBay Nike shoes, and it will actually go into eBay and show you all the Nike shoes um, match that you want. So it's really want to enhance, you don't have to type anything, to really shortcut from five type to just one saying. Um, that's really the goal. And our whole goals of creating anything is all around, like human five senses, right? You can, you can touch, you can say something, um, of course, you can type all that. Maybe one day you can just do mind browsing, or maybe just, you can spell something. Who knows, right? But it's all about like the senses that we can create around browsing, and that's something that we're really, really passionate about. Um, with that, last year we got our first round of funding uh, from Sequoia Matrix Partners, and then this year um, we launch Sonar, and yes, please turn your phone off, and of course Elsa is my, my cousin, so I'm not going to bust her. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, and then one, one other thing that I'm also really excited about, it took us a long, long time, and, and Ryan, who's, Ryan who's, uh, who's controlling all our device over there, and he's really the one that's been building a lot of um, uh, carrier partnerships, and these things take forever. Uh, to build, and we're very, very excited that you, we landed the first partnership, a preload partnership with KDDI, one of uh, the top three carriers in Japan this year. 
Right. Um, this is a quick breakdown. I'm not going to go into details. Uh, we're in about 200 countries, supporting 17 languages, although our official language is English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, um, and all the good stuff. But majority of our users are still um, in U.S. Also, a couple of things that, you know, because of all of you, that's why we exist. And, um, but I showed this actually more for when we launched iOS last August, we really started with no users. Um, so this actually worked really, really well for us. We did a, a Twitter uh, campaign, and from that we actually brought for an iPhone, although of course we shouldn't talk about Apple here. Um, and and uh, so we did, a, we did a Twitter campaign and giving away an iPhone, and with that we generate about 10,000 tweets, and it was really, really helpful for us. And I think the first week we have about a million um, install through this particular campaign. Um, a lot of people love us, of course, I love saying that. Um, does it work? Uh, gesture, which we talked about, and we still the first uh, and the only browser that support that. Um, and for those of you, how many of you actually heard of or have used a Dolphin add-on before? Okay, about half of you. For those of you who haven't used it before, um, we actually are, have about 50 out there, and today with the launch of Raj, which uh, David is going to tell you a little bit more later on, um, we really, it's all about opening it up, so you will learn more about it in details. And then we are also the only and the first voice enable, which I talked about that before, um, before I end this introduction, I want to show you guys uh, like a quick video, which I don't know if, you know what, I could, sh I will show you guys later. Um, with this particular, last week we also announced something that we are also very, very excited about, is our Dolphin Engine. It's not official release yet, it's going to come really, really soon, but you can still download the APK um, of our engine, and it's all around HTML5 optimization. We did a lot of optimization around um, at the GPU level, all around canvas rendering. Um, the idea of all this, there's a, a site, I think either GitHub put together uh, HTML5 tests, and in that, in that actually give you scoring of the different browser, and I think the full score is 500. Um, and we did a quick comparison, you see on uh, Chrome, uh, Chrome Beta is about 300 something, default is about 200, and we're about 450. Um, still in beta, but we love, love, love your input for that because we think that HTML5 is a really, really important initiative and uh, we are actually part of WC3, really, really involved and wanted to be the forefront of this and please test this out and I'll show you guys the video in a little bit later on. Uh, with that, uh, I'm going to actually invite our, our three speakers, that uh, our friends, to come on up and go into the um, mobile investing mobile panel. Come on up, Sachin, David, and David.